welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different in our uh, Model Y Hardware 3. Uh, we've been struggling with getting FSD to work properly and I've done two camera calibrations already and both have resulted in it still not being able to center in the lane. It often hugs the left side of the lane and uh, it'll do a lot of other quirky things like not stopping at the light at the right time or not going when the light turns green or just generally doing a bunch of odd behaviors that are very unlike uh, 12.6.3, which we previously had. This is 12.6.4. So <clears throat> I got a commenter on my last video um, about the camera calibration who suggested that it was actually tied to the software update, but that it also had to do with the uh, front housing camera having some, uh, possibly some like buildup um, in there in the housing that affects the camera. So testing that out today by taking FSD off and switching to uh, navigate well actually not even navigate by on autopilot and i guess it would be if we were going to use the interstate but um it's just going to auto steer beta essentially and then it it can't make any of the turns or anything so we can't turn it on uh fsd per se uh, because that'll be off but it should do the lane keep and if the theory is correct that the uh, latest software 12.6.4 was what was causing the problem with the camera, um, then auto steer should not be impacted by that because uh, it should still be on the old stack, the old software, um, and still be able to center the lane uh, and that sort of thing. So that's how we're going to test it. Try it with um, just old autopilot and see how it works, see how it compares. So I actually haven't used autopilot in a long time. Interesting, you can't really use autopilot below a certain speed, so that's strange. Um, so we had to get up to a certain speed before we could engage it. But here it is, it's got the two blue lines to outline the lane and it doesn't have the single line in the middle uh, like FSD does. So that's how you can tell it's a little different. Also the visualizations I think might be a little bit different in some cases, I'm not really sure. There we have like cones and stuff, yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of weird, um, but actually already uh, I can confirm that it is not having that aggressive behavior of holding to the left side of the lane which actually gives me hope that oh yeah and I actually have to hold my have to hold the steering wheel I have to give force the steering wheel that's different <laughs> but anyway that gives me hope that actually this could be the problem with uh you know some like condensation or something build up in the front camera even though I couldn't really see it but um and if that is the case, then I will proceed with doing a uh, clean out of the front housing of the, the camera sensors in the front to see if that corrects the problems we're having with FSD 12.6.4. Um, I will do a separate video on that because it seems like a little bit involved. I mean, it's not too involved, but I had to get some tools for that to be able to do it properly without damaging any of the uh, camera housing or anything. I don't want to mar up the plastic on there. Um, so I'll do a video on that, show how you can do that if you happen to be having the same problem that I'm having. Uh, it's, it's weird because, like I said, I didn't have any of these problems on 12.6.3, so it all cropped up as soon as I changed to the software, but I did not imagine it would have anything to do with hardware because that seemed like too much of a coincidence but I guess we'll find out um, so regular autopilot 
I mean, it's pretty solid. It's you can tell that it's not as smooth steering, so it it does seem to just kind of always want to be in the middle of the lane to a fault. It doesn't really care about how smooth it is about correcting uh, to the middle of the lane. So it's sort of jittery sometimes, and you can actually feel that difference uh, after been using like fsd version 12 and especially 13 13 is so smooth comparatively um and it doesn't it doesn't auto change lanes um with this now it would on the interstate with navigate on autopilot if it needs to change lanes it would do that but um on the side streets like we turn left here so um i can eh, so i kind of confuse it a little bit so basically I have to disengage it anytime I want to turn. And now that we're going, um, well actually it says that we can turn on autopilot. Yeah, uh, it's just gonna, I guess it's cause it's stopped behind the car. So that doesn't really count. And I think I don't have, so I don't have a uh, traffic light and stop sign control. I could turn that on so weird these old uh settings that I haven't used in so long I've been using fsd for quite a while and you know regular autopilot just seems kind of pointless <laughs> but actually in this car uh if 12.6.4 does not work uh reliably then i think i would rather just have autopilot on especially if it does a solid job of just staying in the lane keeping the distance from the cars in front of me okay got it back on autopilot it's a little bit harder to get it back on autopilot because it, like i said you have to get it up to a certain speed before it's kind of willing to engage it again So now that we are going the speed we want to go, let's see if I can get it to, oh boy. <laughs> so it is changing the lanes, but it is kind of like, oh, should I change the lanes or should I not? Oh yeah, I have to, okay. <laughs> so it was going to stop at the green light. It saw that it was green, but I forgot you have to hit the accelerator to confirm for the computer that you see that it's green as well in order for it to continue. So many weird things that we had to deal with in the early days of autopilot. Um, so it's definitely different. Now it also, I can tell that it stops a lot less smooth than uh fsd 13 13 especially i mean 13 is so much more smooth but um it just kind of is rough stopping i'm also <clears throat> it's really hard to get used to having the steering wheel nag again um so that's interesting so okay so if we're going through a green light if it sees that the light's green and the car in front of us proceeds through it, I don't have to uh, confirm. Man, that's that's pretty. That's a weird behavior, honestly. Like I don't know. So, do people? If you have autopilot and you haven't paid for FSD, do you get the stop sign and traffic light control? Uh, I'd be curious as to whether they include that or not. It's kind of, uh, it's a weird, there's weird rules around it that you have to remember in order to not stop at a green light and things like that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so there's an example of uh, it's just trying to very strictly stay in between the lines. And when the lines shift like that because of the road work, it does stay in the lines appropriately, but it did it not smoothly at all. It just kind of judged to the right and the left. Here it's slowing down a little bit, and I think it's because of all the cones. I mean, I'm not too upset about that, but this is definitely the behavior that autopilot had back in the day. It's So I can't really compare a lot of its behavior to FSD um, as far as how smooth it is and things like that. But uh, I can say that it definitely does a good job, even here, of trying to stay in the middle of the lane. So it doesn't hug the left. And I uh, see, so it has a uh, nose the stop signs coming up. So, yeah, I think this one. I think with the stop sign control, I think it'll just stop at the stop sign and I have to hit the accelerator to proceed. I honestly can't remember. Oh, that was a rough stop. And now we're, yeah, I gotta press the accelerator. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, it's, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the stop sign and traffic light control. It's, I mean, I loved it when it first came out, but now as compared to FSD, it just seems terrible. <laughs> it's kind of funny how much it's progressed. So I think that's it for this one. Um, I really just wanted to uh, test out whether it was software related. Uh, and I think it is, uh, at least by this test, it seems like regular autopilot that doesn't use that same, uh, software stack will keep in the middle of the lane appropriately, which FSD version 12.6.4 was not doing. Uh, so that means we're going to do that, uh, camera housing, uh, clean and see how that, that goes. See if hopefully we get, uh, 12.6.4 to be usable in our hardware three model Y again. And uh, overall, it was kind of interesting to use autopilot again. I hadn't used it in a long time. It really does give you an appreciation for how far we've come with FSD. Uh, I mean, really all of the FSD was um, obviously a lot more capable, but especially with version 12 and 13, it's just been so much smoother and so much more capable. All these things that we had to deal with back in the day uh, with autopilot, um, just having limitations with can't do turns, can't you know change the lanes automatically, uh, having to confirm that you're going to go through a green light, those sort of things. Uh, it's really incredible how far we've come with all that stuff. So. Uh, definitely gives you a more, you know, appreciation for what we've got in version 12 and 13 uh, FSD. And hopefully this, uh, like I said, this camera housing cleaning will work and make 12.6.4 usable. And so stay tuned for that video. Should uh, have that not too far in the future. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.